Hello everybody, we are once again back with another uh, follow along draw video with me. Today we are drawing a fan favorite, uh, this little youngster, Stewie Griffin. Um, I'm doing it on pretty small paper this time. I mean, they're all usually small, but this one is especially small. So like usual, we'll jump right into it. I'm starting with the head. Um, and like I always say, this uh, I've done one before this, and this video is sped up, so if it looks a little uh, too surreal and too perfect, I did practice a lot before this, so reserve your judgment, <laughs> if you will. Um, so yeah, we started with the head, pretty simple. We made that kind of football shape that Stewie has, and then we move into the body. Uh, you might run in, if you're new to drawing, you might run into difficulty with the that ray gun area here's some <clears throat> a little bit smaller more intricate parts than what i've shown you in pre previous videos so after the head and eyes i would tackle the the overalls <clears throat> and his arm area and uh, make it a little bit easier on yourself based and go Make your lines based off uh, where the head is, you know, the left shoulder is just right where that left eye ends, and uh, it's just as an example, and then you can continue from there. So um, after we outline it, um, don't forget to add those little hairs at the top, I almost did too. <laughs> so uh, now we'll jump in straight into the um, shading. Um, I outlined the, um, the entire body with a 2b pencil after i aligned it with the h h is uh i usually use h just because it's uh easy to erase uh but yeah so let's jump in we are shading with the blending stump um like i always say cartoons are very flat and very one color so to avoid all those pencil strokes i just use a blending stump with me which makes it very smooth which uh, i hope gives that very cartoonish look uh, so just like when we did the proportionate outline, I'm starting with the head once again, and then I'll move into the eyes. Uh, so as you can see, I had some inconsistencies in the flat tone. There's kind of some dark areas and light areas. I'm just trying to even that out with what's called a kneadable eraser, which is just kind of a putty that uh, kind of evens out some maybe some mistakes you might have made. Um, I'm tackling that uh, right hand shadow on Stewie's football shaped head, going in with a uh, an HB pencil. Um, it doesn't really matter what brand you use as long as it's HB. Um, and then I'm smoothing it out with the blending stump after I put down that base value with HB. And then I'm going around the eyes and adding some value. Sometimes I come from a realistic drawing background, so I'll even in these cartoon drawings, I'll spice them up with some added value that make them a little more interesting uh, to look at. So yeah, just kind of going back and forth, trying to match as best as best as I can to the uh, reference photo you see on the left there. With the eyes, they're pure white on the photo you see, um, but I add some some additional subtle value that um, really heightens. Um, this cartoon drawing and adds a lot more interest. Um, so we're almost done with the face. I'm just kind of touching up here and there where I find things need to be, uh, you know, a little smoothed out. Right, going in with my uh, little small eraser there. If you, I believe it's called a Tombow. If you don't have one, I'd recommend getting one. If you draw regularly, it's very handy. And then uh, as we let me know if you want a full body video because I usually just do the head. These videos take a while to upload. So I just tackle what I think people are most interested in. And uh, but if you want to see a full body, I, th I think I can make that happen. It might be sped up a little bit more just so I'm not waiting forever to upload it to YouTube. But these are just some of the materials I used. Like always use um, the methods I taught you in the head and apply it to the rest of the body. And you should have something similar um, as an end, end product. Um, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you learned a little bit. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Let me know what you guys want to draw. Maybe we'll, uh, we'll do it together. Thanks.